All right, so last video, we went ahead and primed the RX-7 because, well, it was surface rusting and I'm tired of getting all the surface rust off in preparation to prime it. So now that it's primed, I can continue doing body work and knocking out the small dings and dents uh, before I paint it. So uh, it's, it's looking pretty good now. Still got some things I wanna take care of because due to the color it's being painted, those things will be a little bit more obvious um, if I leave them untouched. But today, we are doing something else. All right, got the VQ240 sitting down the driveway, got the whole garage emptied out. Time to grab the hoist, get it to the front of here, and pull that hoe out. It's honestly a very simple setup in here. Um, they already did a lot of the hard work for me when they uh, carb converted it and removed 90% of the harness. So uh, this honestly shouldn't take very long. I could probably even pull the rotary out by hand, but I'm not gonna break my back today, so I'm gonna use the hoist anyways. Probably gonna leave the transmission in for now, because the car is going to go up on jack stands. But yeah, we can get to it. All right, so I went ahead and got everything all set up. I pulled out the main harness just to get that out of the way. It's a huge mess. So now that that's out, the only bolt I have left attaching the engine to the transmission is the second starter bolt, which is on the bottom of the starter. So I just got to remove that, take out the engine mount bolts, remove the racing beat header. Once I do that, I should be able to lift the rotary right out. I'm gonna see if I can bop off the hood really quick just so that's not in the way. And uh, yeah, get this little rotary out of here, get it on the engine stand that's behind the RX-7, and then uh, yeah, take a look at it. The day has finally come. The 13B is coming out of the RX-7. Tired of looking at it, I'm tired of looking at the mess, plus picking up something this weekend for the RX-7, so gonna need the engine to not be in there in order for that to be done. So I'm gonna get to it. All right, so I went ahead and pulled out the radiator got off the header, got off the harness, and when I pulled out the radiator, I found this. Um, I accidentally broke one of the zip ties, but the oil cooler was zip tied up to the chassis on this side, and then, look, you've got like three interlocked zip ties suspending the oil cooler. That's, that's pretty, uh, that's something all right. So I, I'm gonna take that out, because that's, that's a disaster. So, the rotary is out of the RX-7. Time to finally clean this thing and give it the love that it actually deserves. And figure out what's going on with this uh, port situation. Because I don't know what was done here, or to the degree it was done, or anything of the sort. But actually, that's interesting to see. Somebody went out of their way and cut out these restrictive ports for the exhaust ports. So that's, that's really cool to see. Uh, it's got a brand new clutch and flywheel and all that stuff on here, so that's cool. Here's a big old open engine bay with a beautifully rusted frame rail, so that's exciting stuff. But this is all gonna get painted and redone, so that is no big deal. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. All right, so I'm gonna remove everything from the 13B alternator, all the accessories, all that BS, but first I gotta get it off the cherry picker and onto an engine stand, so. All right, and she's out. And on the engine stand. So now I can pull off all these accessories and then get ready to clean the block, sand the block, and paint the block. So now that I got the 13B out, I'm gonna start pulling all the accessories off it, the oil cooler, drain the oil. Uh, just try to get it to a point where I can sand it down and clean up all the nasty paint that's on it and possibly power wash it. And then of course get it painted so it doesn't look like complete crap. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna time lapse that real quick and catch up with you guys. All right, so I got a majority of the stuff taken out of the engine bay. Still gonna go back through and remove like this bracket right here for the fuse box, the ignition coils, take the harness, push it through the dashboard, at least get it into the car and remove as much of this junk as I can because it doesn't need to be there. I'm gonna paint the engine bay and firewall swap it. So it's all gotta come out before it can go back in. And a lot of it's painted over and doesn't look great. So, so yeah, I'm gonna clean it up, make it look good and then 
go from there. So I got the 13B out of the RX-7, went ahead and stripped down the engine bay even more as you guys saw in the time lapse. So now it's pretty bare. I went ahead and grabbed everything and just kind of stuffed it back in here so it wasn't sitting outside. So I just kind of got the radiator sitting right there. But other than that, pretty much got a majority of the harness pulled out. I got the master and slave pulled out. I just got to take out the brake booster so I can stuff the rest of the harness through. But uh, yeah, making some progress here, getting it ready for, you know, the big step that comes next. So uh. I appreciate you guys watching the video all the way through. Make sure you hit the like button, comment anything down below if you have anything to say about it, subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, we will see you in the next one.